responses to a press conference coming in by the MEA. Your Let's listen in. Under India's chairmanship, which is just concluded, to give us a sense of the conversation and the overall uh, India's chairmanship over of the SCO over the last year, uh, we have the privilege of having with us Foreign Secretary Sir uh, Shivani Quatra, also uh, joining us on the dais, uh, JS SCO Shrimati Yojana Patel. Uh, sir, may I request you to make an opening remark? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much and uh, very good afternoon to friends from the media. India under our first ever presidency of Shanghai Cooperation Organization hosted and we just concluded the 23rd meeting of the SCO Council of Heads of State uh, earlier today. In terms of the flow of discussions and the points that were covered by different leaders at this summit, uh, all of them exchanged views on the topical, regional and international issues on how to further deepen a cooperation among the SCO member states within the SCO format, the issue of what proposals should be taken up for the reform and modernization of the organization, and also the common issues that uh, concerning the region as also the organization. All the leaders welcomed the completion of procedure for Iran to join as the organization's full member state. Prime Minister also congratulated President Raisi on this occasion. The leaders also welcomed the decision on signing the Memorandum of Obligation of Belarus to join the organization as a member state. The process of Belarus membership uh, will be completed by 2024 SEO summit next year. Uh, as the outcome of the summit, the leaders adopted the New Delhi Declaration and two thematic joint statements, one on cooperation in countering radicalization leading to separatism, extremism and terrorism, and the second one on cooperation in the field of digital transformation. Besides, the leaders also signed a total of 10 decisions. Uh, those decisions uh, uh, would be available to you uh, separately. Essentially, a uh, set of outcomes that are aimed at furthering uh, the cooperation among the SEO member states in order to fulfill its objectives. Uh, you would all be aware that uh, when India assumed the presidency of SCO in September last year, after the Samarkand summit of SCO, Prime Minister Modi had articulated, articulated India's priority for the SCO chair with the theme of towards a secure SCO. Secure standing for security, economic development, connectivity, unity, respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity and environmental protection. It provides essentially the template of our endeavors and the action that we took under our presidency. Uh, all our initiatives and proposals that we put forward during the SCO meetings uh, in the time frame of our presidency were, uh, uh, were essentially structured and choreographed around this uh, core objective of secure SEO and our intention to open up new areas of cooperation and intensify an engagement within the SEO was also built around it. Uh, at the India's initiative, two new mechanisms were created in SEO. We have spoken about this in the past also namely the Special Working Group on Startups and Innovation and Expert Level Working Group on Traditional Medicine. The first meetings of these two working groups would be held towards the latter part of this year and that would be aimed at framing cooperation among the SEO member states in these two areas. During our presidency, India hosted more than 134 events in the last nine months. Unprecedented level of engagement with the dialogue partners and observers of SEO was also an essential component of it. There were in total 
as part of our presidency 15 ministerial level meetings and four heads of agency meetings across different areas and the outcomes and decisions of those ministerial meetings have been captured in the various outcome documents of the SCO. Uh, I would just uh, highlight five initiatives that were proposed by India and adopted at these ministerial level meetings uh, under India's presidency. The first was on the concept of the development of digital public infrastructure, DPIs, for the promotion of digital technologies among the uh, population, in particular digital inclusion and innovation. This is something which found mention and was echoed by almost all the leaders in today's uh, summit proceedings. Two, on the cooperation among the SEO member states on emerging fuels. Three, on uh, challenges, uh, working together to combat the challenges of climate change, plastic pollution, marine plastic litter, air pollution, with focus on resource efficiency and circular economy. Related to that, uh, but in a more uh, action-oriented sequence, decarbonizing the transport infrastructure, promoting digital transformation and innovative technologies, again, for efficiency and higher sustainability through cooperation among the SEO member states. And lastly, the first ever report on digital financial inclusion policies of the SEO member states. Besides, sorry, digital financial inclusion policies in the SEO member states. Uh, there was also a substantial segment of socio-cultural activities uh, during India's presidency. This included SCO Millets Festival, I think it was in Mumbai, oh, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. SCO Film Festival, SCO Cultural Showcasing at Suraj Kund Mela, SCO Tourism Mart, uh, SCO Conference on uh, Traditional Medicine, this was in the business to business format. And all these uh, initiatives uh, and events held under India's presidency received uh, quite remarkable and robust response from the SCO member states. As I just earlier on mentioned, uh, we also organized several activities that were focused on the youth populations within the SCO countries, events like Young Scientists Conclave, Young Authors Conclave, SEO Young Resident Scholars Program, SEO Startup Forum, SEO Youth Council, SEO Conference on the Role of Youth in Community Development. The idea essentially is that you uh, broad base the, uh, the uh, substance of cooperation among the SEO member states, uh, add stakeholders that are other than the government also, ensure their participation in a manner that essentially strengthens the cooperation among the SCO member states. Uh, the colorful events in the framework of first tourist and cultural capital of SCO at Varanasi deserves a special mention as we showcased the civilizational heritage and the culture through Varanasi. There were several festivals which was hosted as part of these celebrations. Uh, uh, we also hosted again as a part of uh, highlighting another segment of our civilizational heritage, the International Conference on Shared Buddhist Heritage in New Delhi. A special chair, and I would like to mention this in particular, a special chair on the shared Buddhist heritage was also created at the Nalanda University. Uh, under the Government of India arrangements. And to mark India's first ever presidency of SCO, a commemorative stamp was also released uh, last month uh, in June. Uh, I am also pleased to inform that an India themed, Indian themed New Delhi Hall was inaugurated recently at the SCO Secretariat in Beijing. It will essentially be uh, showcasing a mini India in the SCO Secretariat, uh, New Delhi Hall 
in case that's what you are inquiring. The, uh, we, the, the summit also saw today uh, 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 extensive uh, felicitation and congratulation of the leadership by India uh, of its presidency. The, uh, uh, the extensive reach that we ensured all over the country in hosting the 134 events.